you're facing a goaltender who's six foot eight, what do you tell your team, uh, even if you screen him, which he eventually did on that first goal, but what do you tell your team? Yeah, just that we have to get to the, the hard areas of the ice and um, you know try to take his eyes away as best we can. Uh, he's talented and um, you know, luckily enough, we were able to get one through there as the period, the second period wore on. Yeah, I mean, it looked like it was a screen in front of me. It's, sometimes it looked like it would be possible to screen him because he, he could see over you, but he didn't see that goal at all. Yeah, no, I thought we did a really nice job uh, taking his eyes there and, and having a lot of traffic. And then, um, you know, Mason Snell's been playing really good hockey, and I was glad he got rewarded by stepping in there and making a play. How big was that goal? Because you, know, you guys had dominated the first period, outshot Dartmouth 11 to 1, didn't score. Yep. They came out with more uh, passion and uh, they were taking it to you. They took the lead. So how important was uh, Mason's goal maybe to settle things down and get you back in it? I think it was huge. I mean, we were talking about it after the first. It would have been nice to be up one. and But we t always say you win the game in the you know the first five minutes by setting your pace and, and playing your style. And I thought we did a nice job of that. And then obviously they're well coached. Um, they went in the locker room. I'm sure they gave it to their guys a little bit and they, they pushed back. and. Uh, we were able to kind of withstand it and not let it get away from us and, and find a way to even it out. And then Ben's goal, he, it looked like he picked up the puck out of the, uh, came around the, the uh, boards there, and he caught, it appeared he caught the um, uh, black going down on, you know, trying to get it. So was that just a perfect shot there by uh, uh, Ben? Yeah, I think so. I think he just uh, saw an opening, and uh, lucky enough for us, it went in. And, um, you know, he's, he's doing a great job leading, so I'm glad he get, got rewarded. And then they pulled their goaltender twice. And I mean, how important is it to, to put that game away with those two empty net goals? I mean, it was huge. I mean, <laughs> we haven't, um, you know, been in that spot a lot here, and we're learning how to win as a hockey team. So to to, to handle it the way we did, I thought guys were sacrificing for each other, and uh, you know, keeping everything to the outside, and you know, uh, and then when you have the chance to finish, they did. So it was it was nice for us as a as a team. Colin Ferguson said the, on Tuesday that yeah, after he scored up in St. Lawrence, the floodgates are going open. I guess he meant it because it's his <laughs> second in a row. Yeah, that's uh, that's nice for him. I mean, he's I have watched a lot of his video, and uh, he should have already scored by now. So it's you know nice for him to finally get get rewarded for it. I mean, you, know, you were talking about you know, we talked about this Tuesday about the penalties. He you know, took too many penalties up at the North Country last weekend. You guys only took one penalty tonight. So how important was it discipline? And being able, you know, to take advantage of that discipline and you know, win this game. Yeah, I, I think for us, we got to have really good habits and details if we want to be successful. And tonight, we did that. Um, it's good stick discipline. It was on the ice. Uh, it wasn't, you know, up in the air and, and hooking and holding. So, um, happy, happy with that. It was a good step for us as a group. You looked a little agitated at the end of the. Uh, I think it was the first, second period, maybe. Um, with was there, was there a missed call? You thought? Well, I, I just thought there was a couple where we had scoring chances where we were hooked. Or held and um, you know I, at at the same point I just I just wanted to let them know like we I thought we had um, some scoring chances but overall I thought the game was officiated well yeah and overall for this game you had the effort you were very happy with it yeah I thought it was a good step I thought we came out and set the pace early um, again like any good team Dartmouth pushed back really hard and um, and then in the third uh, we you know we kind of played the way we wanted to and, and managed the game very well Looks like midway through the third, uh, Nick Petrullo went off uh, to get her blocking a shot. Yeah, he uh, he got dinged up um, there with blocking that. and uh, Spot, I don't think you want to block him in. Uh -huh. and, uh, and was able to come back for us and uh, give us some good minutes there at the very end. I wanted to ask you, um, on Wednesday, the ECAC came out with the announcement that they're abandoning the best of three uh, first round format for a one game, basically sudden death. Uh, what are, you, what are your thoughts about that? I guess it was talked about over the summer. So what, do you like the idea or would you rather see a best of three? Well, I like the idea that the women get to get to play, a, yep. you know, a, um, you know, one game and, and the five through, you know, 12 round. Um, I, I like our guys have the ability to play as many games as possible, but, but I also think it's it shows how important the regular season is. And, um, you got to try to fight to earn that buy, and then if not, the you know the five through eight really have the advantage of playing one game at home. So it, it's important that you you do well in the regular season. What, what happens if it's like a twelve knocks off something? You, know, you get some lower upsets. I mean, that could really upset a lot of people. I, I remember back in, years ago when they had a one game quarterfinal. RPI was lower seed at Harvard. One Harvard, and actually they went back to the best of three. Yeah, I, I think there's been some times here recently too where teams have lost that first game, but. Um, you know, I, th I think that's why it's so important to try to fight for the bye. And, um, you know, you get that, you get three games for sure. So um, it, 
it's you know it's kind of the way it's going to go and i think it'll be cool for those one games i think the, the buildings will be you know there'll be more energy just because there's one game for it all and it's not a you know best of three um, i know some of those sunday games there's there's nobody in it and your season's kind of on the line and there's there's nobody there so i think you know administrations will be able to market it well and really try to pack the house for those one game series